I'm in a weird position, but I have to, um, I had to set up my iPod before doing the live stream. And so now I'm going to hopefully be ready that we can do this right away. Let's see what we're doing. I'm going to go back to my, my original page. Let's pull up the video. I'm going to refresh my page and we're going to try to start over because Oh my God, that thumbnail is ridiculous, but that's okay. Let's just get going with this and see what we can do. Let's pull up the screen a little bit more, just a titch, and then we can get started with the live stream, making Sagittarius um, things out of wire. So, so <laughs> hi Mustafa, you're back. Sorry about that. I had to adjust the camera too much. I have to figure out a better way to do this that I'm all set up to go. I'm gonna try a different uh, system next time, but today we are doing Sagittarius. We're back and I've got a ridiculous thumbnail going on there, but that's okay, I'm gonna fix it after. So, uh, Wire Lady TV every Wednesday, 1 p.m. Eastern time, and today we are doing Sagittarius. So that's super fun. And I just have to make sure I have all my stuff here that nothing drops on the floor. And what I'm going to do is just start with doing the very simple symbol and we're gonna go from there. So hopefully Clarice is gonna hop on the live stream because she is also a Sagittarius. I'm a Sagittarius as well. And um, yeah, so let's get going with that. And I will get my wire and we're going to get started. So now I have my cutters and I have my round pliers. These are the Zeron pliers that uh, Ginger recommended to me that I really love, and then my flat pliers. And let's just go ahead and start by making the basic symbol for Sagittarius. So I'm going to take some wire, pull it out, take a very small-ish please. This is the 20 gauge wire. Hi Ginger, how are you? I just mentioned your name because you had recommended these uh, Zeron pliers. These aren't Zeron, these are Beadlon, but the I have all their pliers now, which is amazing. I'm so happy. The thumbnail is going to be the next bloopers, LOL. Yes, you're right. Oh my God, that was ridiculous. The, please excuse the thumbnail, guys, but maybe it'll attract people to, uh, to the live stream. Who knows? So let's go ahead and just do a basic Sagittarius symbol. And uh, I'm going to try to do it in a way that we can attach it to a ring. So, because I have done Sagittarius rings before, but I'm gonna to try to do it in a slightly different way. So if we just maybe take the round pliers to start with a bit of a loop. So we're gonna take this, start with the loop, bring it around, and I just have to figure out the best way to do this because I haven't made it in a little while. So we've got this one, and then I'm going to bend that one down here and let's see what we can do. This might not be what I wanted to do, but we're gonna try it. So we're just gonna do the arrow, okay? The arrow here, and then the arrow down. I think I'll, yeah, I'll end on that end. So we're just gonna do like the arrow, and you really don't have to keep mentioning me. <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> it's just an instinct, uh, Ginger. I, uh, I just, I'm so grateful to you for linking me up with that brand because they're really great pliers and I really wanted pliers that other people would be able to buy because all my old pliers are not available anymore. So there we go. So here's the beginning of the arrow. That works well with a little loop on the end. We're gonna bend this one back and then we are going to bend this one down here. So you can, if you wanna get a tighter bend too, you can use the needle nose pliers which are more flat and you might be able to get a sharper bend in there. So we're just gonna go like that. And then we wanna do the little cross at the bottom of the Sagittarius. So we're just go across here. I'm not quite sure what the previous ring looks like. I didn't look it up, but I did previously do a Sagittarius ring. So maybe I'll just have a look and see what that one looks like as well. So this is pretty well the shape, okay? Now, if you want to hang it on an angle, because I remember doing the male symbol, symbol before, I would put the loop a little bit more above on an angle. So for the earrings, I would do that. But what I want to do now is just find out 
find that ring that I did before with Sagittarius because I was looking it up and my iPod just went kaput. So let's just write that Sagittarius and search and there we have. Yeah, so this is what the ring looked like. Hopefully you guys can see that. This is what the ring looked like before. So I made it with all, whoops, now it's stopped, but I made it with all one piece of wire. So uh, yeah, so there are snacks in the, hmm, I'm not sure what that, <laughs> did I miss something, Mustafa? I think I missed something. So this is sort of the basic starting point for what could be a ring like, and, and I did in the previous one, just extend that wire around. And I could do that, just extend, rather than remove that, I could just bend, maybe bend that one on an angle rather than have two loops on either end. Maybe I'll do that. I'll just bend this on an angle and then we can get the ring cone. Okay, we'll just get the ring cone here and just bring it around and then put it into there. Like that would be one option and then you could just bring it into there to do that, but say you wanted to do two loops, let's just try that because we're just here to experiment. Hi, Pamela, how are you? Did I miss Virgo? Um, did I do Virgo, guys? I don't remember. I don't think I did Virgo yet. I don't think so. So I could maybe do that next time. I don't, or did I? Did I do Virgo? Oh gosh, somebody please remind me if I did Virgo because I don't remember now. I've done it as a ring before but I don't remember if I've done it otherwise. So what I'm thinking, like this looks a little funny with the two loops, but it might work, it might work. Let's just try this and see. Okay, we're just gonna clip the end. Okay, we'll just clip the end and snacks in the goodie box. Hmm, interesting. So now let us just make this loop maybe a little smaller too, because that loop's a little bit big. Yeah, Mustafa, uh, Amber's not going to be here today, so I'm very happy that you're here. And um, maybe you can share also the link to Discord, because if anybody is working on these and wants to share pictures of their work uh, from the, after the live stream, you can share them in the post, uh, post live stream section of Discord. So there's like sort of the basic shape, and actually this would work as a component for a bracelet or um, even, uh, you know, bracelet or the ring. Well, let's try the ring. So let's get the 18 gauge wire to do the band, keeping it really simple. And it's a little different than the previous uh, ring that I made. So now we're gonna take the ring cone. I love this stepped uh, ring cone. It's so amazing. I use it all the time and it's really especially good for really wide rings as well. Hi, Angela. Oh, it's okay, you're not that late. I was late, so really not a big deal at all. In fact, I had to restart the video because the previous one um, uh, didn't work like I was fiddling around too much. So I have to figure out a way how to do these videos in a way that's like quick setup. So now if I would put that one there and this one like here, I'm gonna hold my hands up a bit so you guys can see better. And then we're going to bend this one up here. Okay, we'll bend this one up. Thank you, uh, Mustafa, for putting the, the Discord link. I'm going to pin it at the top. That's fantastic. And then if anybody wants to join the Discord group and share pictures of your work after the live stream, uh, there's different sections. We have a share your work section that you can share any of your wire art and wire jewelry. Or there is the post live stream sections where you could share stuff uh, doing that you do after the live stream. So now we're going to take this piece, slide it on there, slide it on there. Okay. And we have, oh, this is really nice actually. I like this. I almost like this better than the previous Sagittarius ring I did because it's more solid with the band. So let's go ahead and pull these ones around. I'm going to get the, the uh, needle nose or the flat nose pliers again. I'll get the needle nose. And uh, we're gonna take this one around, bring that one right around, and give it a little tug. Okay, tug it so it is nice and tight in there. Give it a clip, there we go, and close that one up. So there's that one there, really cute. And then we're gonna have to do this side too. Okay, so we're gonna take this and 
tug it around. Okay, get down there you. And we're gonna bring this one, tug it down like that. Let me know if, if my hands are close enough to the screen because I can always like put the screen a little closer if you guys are having trouble seeing my hands. Just let me know in the comments. Uh, join the Facebook group. Yes, yes, the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. If you want to join the Facebook group, share pictures of your wire art and jewelry. Uh, so much inspiration in that group. I just love that group and it's really grown. We have like over 10,000 members uh, now and uh, everybody is so creative. So here is our first one, but because I don't want it straight across, I'm going to just stagger it a little bit. Okay, we'll stagger that, put it back on a ring cone, and we could maybe put it about the size seven. And that is really funky. I like that. Just a little more closer. Okay, so let's just try that. I'm going to just bring that up a little bit. Let's see how's that. Is that a little better? That should be a little bit better. I just have to be really careful to keep my hands in the screen. So let's just bring the tape over a little bit so I don't go beyond the tape. Whoop, back. This is actually hilarious. That should be about good. Perfect. And then this one too, we don't want to go past it. So let's bring the tape up a little bit here. So that looks good. Perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to try to stay within the screen now. So there's our Sagittarius ring and it's kind of funky. I like it. You can curve that a little bit too if you want, but that looks good. So now let's try the bow and arrow, which could be really interesting. So for that one, it won't be a ring. It'll be more a pendant. So let me get some 18 gauge wire for the, for the base of the, uh, of the archer thing. And then we're just going to get a piece, I don't know, it's eight to 10 inches. And we're going to clip that one. And then let's go ahead and just take our flat pliers first and bend it a little bit there. And a little bit, oh, I gotta keep my hands on screen now. I think we're good here and there. Okay, and then now we want to curve it around a little bit. So let me just get a Sharpie or a marker. Um, where's my wide Sharpie? Here's a wide Sharpie. So we're just going to take this one, go around a little bit, and then go around this way a little bit. So we have our kind of basic shape for the Arrow, bow and arrow so this is like the bow so we're going to bring that one around here and here and then we want to go around the other way so for that one I'm actually going to use my looping pliers so I love these six step looping pliers by Beadsmith I have a whole video on 10 different things you can do with these pliers they're amazing uh, hi Clarissa so elegant thank you and now we're going to take this one and decide what size you know, loop you want to do and bring it around. So you're going to bring that one around here and then to get them the same size, just do this other one, bring it around here. I'm just kind of eyeballing the size. So we're going to just bring that one around like full circle. Try that full circle. We can adjust it after two, full circle. And then we're going to go to the next size one, which is around here. And the other thing you could do is if, if it's too tricky to get a cone shape, I just grab a pen so that one's kind of easier so we're just going to take this bring it around and just like kind of go like up that way to make more of a cone shape sometimes it's much easier than fiddling around with the different sizes in your pliers so around here and here and here perfect and then what you can do is just clip the end Okay, and clip it, because Mustafa loves when I clip the wire, clip it. And then we're gonna take this little end and roll it around. So we're just gonna roll it to close that end, make sure it closes right up. And then the same thing on this side, we we'll just give it a little clip, clip it. And then we are going to rotate that end again. So we're just going to take that, rotate it in, 
The 18 gauge is really stiff, so it's harder to get that nice kind of um, spiral with it, but it's doable. So now we're gonna get the flat pliers and just push these down a little bit. Okay, we're just gonna push them down, right down. This one too, just bring it in there, push it down. So it makes a really cool spiral. Like maybe there's even too much wire there. I'm not sure, but we're gonna see. So we're gonna bring it down, bring that one down here. Angel, I'm a Sagittarius, yay! Awesome, well I'm gonna do a few Sagittarius things. Uh, I just finished the, the ring and now I'm going to do, it's, I guess it'll be sort of a pendant thing. So we've got this. So this is, and then you can exaggerate this shape how you want you know so just whatever you think looks good we've got that and the other thing I was thinking that I maybe should have done is like because it's going to be hard to attach the the bow thing or I mean the strings without it like slipping so a, a hack for that would be just to get your round pliers so let's just get the round pliers decide where you want the bow like the uh, strings to go like say around here and then make a loop okay it's going to make the spiral smaller but that's fine because it's much easier to secure the wire if you have a little bit of a loop otherwise it's going to slip right so let's try to do another one on the other side around in the same position we'll just kind of eyeball it so that looks maybe not far enough over but that's fine and then we're just going to do a little loop and then what that does is for sure your wire is not going to slip it's just going to stay in place so we're going to do that so we have loops on either side now i think i did them on the wrong side uh yeah i did them on the wrong side so how can i do that no i didn't did i no i didn't they're on the right side okay there we go so now we are going to I'm going to open these up a little bit. I find them a little, the spirals a little tight. So I'm just going to open them up a little bit. So there we have our basic starting point. It's rather large, but you can do it smaller. So that's the starting point for the bow and arrow. You can play around, you know, exaggerate the shapes a little bit if you want. It's fine. And then now we need the string part that goes down and the arrow. So maybe we'll do the arrow first and you could do the arrow in a contrasting color if you like too. So say I wanna get some silver, I could do that. So let's get some silver wire, 20 gauge. This is the artistic copper wire. This is the wire I use all the time for my videos. I love it. It's soft, easy to work with and it's tarnish resistant. So now let's go ahead and take this one and we are going to just take this and make the arrow form. So uh, different ways you can do that. Uh, we're going to have to attach it on one end here. So why don't we start with, we'll make the arrow part first. Um, ba -dum -ba -dum. I might do with the arrow a little bit differently than I usually do. I usually just do like, where did it go? I usually do this kind of like just back and forth arrow, but I'm gonna do this one a little bit different, I think. So let's get the uh, needle nose pliers and we're just going to bend it down here. And uh, let's try to bend it across. I'm just playing right now because I'm not exactly sure how I wanna do the arrow. And we can bend it up that way. Okay. And then just let me see how it looks. Sort of interesting. Let me just look at my sketch. It's kind of interesting. I'm not sure I love it. I'm gonna try something else. Uh, you know, let's just play with this one to see what we like. I don't love that one. So let's just take that one away. I'm gonna move that out of the way. And what if we did it like this? So we bent it across and then up. This might be better and then down, I think it's gonna be better. It's gonna be simpler and then just across like that. I think that's gonna be good. I'm just not sure I'm, it's going to be long enough to do the rest. Let me just see if we do that. I'm gonna cut another piece because I'm worried that won't be long enough for what I wanna do. So let's just take another piece, cut it. 
And then we're just gonna do the same thing over again. So there we go. So we're just gonna do this and across here. Let me know in the comments what zodiac sign you are. And maybe Mustafa, you can find out which, which ones I've already done and which ones I'll have to still do. Cause I don't even remember if I made Virgo or not. I've done it as a ring, but I don't know if I did it. I don't think I did it in the live stream. So yeah, if you're, if you're watching, be sure to introduce yourself and say what zodiac sign you are. So there we go across here. And don't forget tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern time is the premiere of the new show, Live Wires for the Win. Now this is an elimination challenge. So it's like my 10 day challenges, but it's uh, actually eight weeks. It started with 10 participants and each week we have an elimination, a winner and an elimination. And, um, and at the end, the winner winner gets $500 worth of needle on wire and tools. So that's exciting. Can you do a Sagittarius bracelet? Okay, so maybe we could do a bracelet after this. That's a great idea. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put that through there. What I was, now what I'm thinking is I should have done a loop in here. Ooh, that would have been cool. So this is gonna distort the design somewhat, but because I wanna try it, I'm going to do a little loop in here to see if we can, might mess up the design a bit, but. I'm just going to try it because I think it's going to be easier if we have a loop here. And now it doesn't have to be super big and this could, this could actually work. So let me just do this, bend this, kind of straighten that out a little bit. I think this might work because that way you don't have to distort this. I was going to wrap it around, but I think it's better to do it this way. So if we do that and we want, I think this has to be on top. So if we go like that, okay, if we stick this one in here and then it kind of holds in place, which is, ooh, this is looking really interesting. So now what we want to do is do the string that way and that way. And I will do that one in gold. And I don't want to go too thin with it, even though it's a string and it should be relatively delicate. I think I'll stick with the 20 gauge wire so it won't be too fragile. So I'm going to get 20 gauge gold and give it a little clip. And then what we're going to do is bend this. How can we do this? I could also do a loop in this one just to keep it. I think I, I'm gonna stick with the loop theme because when you do the loop, it helps secure the wire in place. So let's just go ahead and do a little loop. We're gonna do a little loop in there, bring this one around, up, and then that one up. And then we're going to take this. I'm actually thinking these loops could have been more down. Let me remove this. I'm gonna bend these loops more down. I think it's gonna be better. So let's just take these loops with the needle nose pliers and then rotate them down a bit. I think they're gonna be a little more discreet. So we're gonna take this one. Okay, rotate it down a little bit down and down and I think that's going to be good so these are like kind of more behind see I don't know if you can see how it looks but those are a little bit more behind there so these are the ones I've done Gemini Leo Scorpio Pisces Capricorn Libra are done thank you Mustafa that's awesome thank you so much for letting me know because I kind of lose track so now we're going to take these wires and stick them through the little holes there. Make sure I'm staying in camera. Okay, so this these go in here, but they should also be more like, more tension in there. So I'm just gonna push that a little bit. They're a little too like loopy right now. So I'm just gonna do that there and there. And what we're going to do is do that and that. We have a really quiet group today. I think maybe it's back to school or something, back to work. There's, um, we don't have many people on today, but that's okay. Anybody can watch the the, uh, the replay after it airs and um, even zip through to do the designs that you want. So there we go. We have this like that. So I'm not gonna do it too much. It's kind of interesting like that. So we're just gonna maybe pull it back a little bit more and then I need to bend these in place. So we're going to hold that here 
Oh, hi, Joan. Sorry I'm late, I had to re reboot my computer. No problem at all. And I had a little problem with the, I had to uh, delete the first live and to go on again because I was having tr a lot of trouble centering my camera. So, uh, so that's why there's a really weird thumbnail on the thing. And um, I will be definitely sure to change that thumbnail because it looks really silly. So now we're going to cut this and yeah so happy you're back Joan because you've been away for a while working and stuff so it's nice that you can come back now so there's that one and now we're going to adjust this and and Joan I'm hoping you're going to participate in live wires for the win because um viewers can participate every week in the challenges with a chance to win great prizes too so I created a Facebook group uh, for that live wires for the win and anybody uh, anywhere can participate in that and uh, it doesn't have to be just Canada and U.S. For the participants, it was just Canada and U.S. But anybody anywhere in the world can participate in the weekly challenges when the shows air. So Mustafa, I hope you're going to participate and uh, share your work. That would be awesome. So here is uh, the, there's the uh, bow and now here's the arrow and we have to put them together. So it feels great to be back. Awesome. So now we're going to bring this one down here. Okay, bring it right down. And then we wanna do a little bit of a kind of the little end of the arrow thing. So for that, I think what I'll do is I'll just decide where I wanna start it. So around here, we're gonna let that dangle because I have to keep it through that hole. And then now we're just going to take this down there and we can do Let's see what I want to do. I could do it like I've done in the past, or I can just do a very plain one. I think I might do this one really plain because in the past, what I've done is I've done like little lines, but I think for this one, oh, I'm coming off screen. I think for this one, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. So we're just going to go across here, up there, and I'm going to bend it to the back. So we're going to bend it up here, up here. This one I should have bent more on an angle. Sorry if you guys can't see this very well, but I'm just gonna to try to bend this. Always after the live stream, I take a good picture and I put it in the community section. So you'll get a better idea of what it looks like in the photo if you have trouble seeing the, the screen because uh, the stream is, you know, medium quality only because I, I do it on my iPad uh, and it's not as clear as when I film a video so these are live so the lives aren't as clear as when I actually film a video so we're just gonna go like this round like that and then we want to bend it back so it can go in that hole so let's see if ooh, that's gonna be a little tricky so we're gonna bring that one here and maybe just bend it back like that or something okay so now this is way too long so we're gonna clip that and Good luck with all the participants. Yeah, it's very exciting. It's the first time that I've done an elimination challenge and um, maybe Netflix will pick it up. Wouldn't that be fun to have a show like that on Netflix? I think it would be awesome. I watch a show on Netflix called Blown Away, which is a competition show for glass blowers. So uh, I thought, oh, that would be really cool to do something like that. But uh, I guess you'd have to have all the contestants in person and maybe have like a week-long retreat or something and do something like that that was we could always dream big right so there we go so there is the bow and arrow and now we have to just clip this in so just bring this one down and give it a little clip right in there and then we are going to pinch that one in so we're going to pinch that one in there, so it stays in place and this could be a pendant or a ornament if you made it bigger it's flipping around a little bit so that I guess as a pendant it would sit still but to avoid it flipping you probably have to just pinch these in a little bit more so let's just try to pinch those in a little bit more to see if we can avoid it flipping around otherwise you'd have to bend the wire around maybe a couple of times so there we go perfect so that's pretty good wow i like it i think it's it's super different it's funky 
Uh, you can adjust the shape of the bow if you need. You could even stretch it. Look, if you stretch it a little bit, it works too. Uh, so yeah, definitely play around with that. And then you can hang a jump ring or something at the top. So that's cool. I'm just gonna grab a, a glass of water, just to have a sip of water. And then I will be back. So now we've got those. And then the other thing I wanna do, I do wanna do a bracelet. But I also wanted to do a little figure, and I'd done a sketch for it, and now I can't find it. So let me just find my little sketch, and we're going to do a little, a little archer, because I think that would be super cool. But I don't know what happened to my sketch. I dropped it. Maybe it went on the floor. Hmm. I'm not sure. Okay, I might just have to wing it, because... I can't find my little sketch. Oh, here it is. Here's my little sketch. So here is the archer. Uh, and actually somebody had requested the archer and I don't remember who it was. Thanks, Musafa. Fire, woo, nice. Oh, that would be cool too. Uh, so let's do this one first and then maybe we can try a bracelet that has something with fire. That would be cool. So I will get a thinner wire for that. I'm gonna do the 20 gauge wire. I think it's gonna be easier. So I'll take the 20 gauge wire to start with the base and then we can add the arrow after. Now this is just gonna be a super fun experiment to see if it works. I don't know how much wire I need. Maybe I'll cut a little bit more. Joan, a BRB. Yes, grab your coffee, do it. Yeah, I'm gonna have my coffee after this because I don't wanna to be too jittery when I'm making wires. So now let us take this one and uh, also let me know in the comments if you would be interested in, be, in doing a live Zoom call where we're all on the Zoom call, uh, making wire at the same time, working on a similar project and showing our work to each other. And it would be like an hour or so, we can all get on Zoom and we can, um, we can make wire together. Wouldn't that be fun? Uh, let me know in the comments if you're interested and also let me know the best time and your time zone to do that because I think that I've done it once before a couple of years ago Amber hopped on and Ruth hopped on and you're down yay Mustafa I think that would be awesome that would be so much fun so let's do it soon I just have to get a few episodes of Live Wires for the Win under my belt and we can do that that'd be super fun so now let's go ahead and just try to trace this guy I don't know where to start maybe we'll just start as at his butt that might be a good place to start so I'm just going to take this and twist it around and start shaping it around and here so make sure I'm staying on screen and then this see this leg is a little behind so we could just bend this in a way that that leg is behind here and then a little bit more down here and down and down down and across Okay, and 1 p.m. is good. Okay, so maybe we could do that. I'll, uh, I'll definitely uh, think about when we can do that, and, uh, and that would be super fun. We could do like a Zoom call when we're all together uh, doing wire stuff. That would be super fun. Kind of like Let's Get Wired, next level. It would be, it, I guess it could be called a Let's Get Wired, uh, but it's gonna be next level Let's Get Wired because we're all gonna be on Zoom. That would be super fun. I don't think I can live stream it, but I can do it on Zoom and then upload the video. So Mustafa, you'd have to ask your, your parents if that's okay for, for to upload the, the video after. And not everybody's comfortable on camera, but for this, I think people would have to be. So um, unless we just did it like a private one, but it'd be fun to be able to do it all and everybody can see, see us making stuff. That'd be super fun. So now let's keep doing this. I made her in a dream. Okay, a sun catcher, a dream catcher. True. Yeah, that's a good idea. So now let's just keep going with the legs and see how they're going down here. Perfect. I would like a Zoom meeting if it's not a weekend. Okay, cool. That's good to know. Yeah, during the week seems to be a better time for people. Yeah, I think it'd be super fun. Yeah, I did it, uh, like I said, a couple of years ago, maybe two, three years ago, and it was Amber and Ruth and one other girl, I think she was in the Philippines, and now I forget her name. So if you're watching, 
please remind me uh, who you were because uh, we had a lot of fun. It was super fun. There we go. And now we're going to bring this one back here and try to get this going. It's hard to do this shape uh, when it's so tiny, but we're just going to do our best. Just compare it. Bring this one around. Horses are hard to do. That's why I always draw them first because they're very hard to do. Uh, Josefina, buenos dias. May buenos dias to you. Hola, thanks for hopping on. I wish I spoke Spanish, but anytime I reply to comments in Spanish, I usually have to Google Translate. So thank goodness for Google. There we go. I would love to learn Spanish. I learned a little bit of Italian when I went to Italy, but not really enough to do anything with. So there we go. So we're going to go here. My husband speaks Spanish. And um, he learned Spanish when he was babysitting a little girl in Mexico. So that's cool. He learned quite a bit of Spanish and, and traveled a lot down there. And the only time I had to speak Spanish when we were in Guatemala together is he got food poisoning. And I had to go to the pharmacy to buy him stuff for his food poisoning. So that was the only time I was like forced to speak Spanish without his help. But uh, yeah, I'd love to learn Spanish one day. So there we go, up here. My mom's got permission, yay, fun, that's super fun. Okay, so that's that, we have to do it then, that would be awesome. And maybe next year, if I figure out a way to, uh, the for the live wires for the win, to have international uh, guests, international participants, maybe you can, uh, you can join next year, Mustafa, when we do when we do live wires for the wind. The only problem with that was shipping the uh, very expensive, very heavy gift from Beetle on overseas. That's the problem. And, and even now when my Etsy shop, I've stopped shipping overseas because with COVID it's been very, very uh, unpredictable, the, the uh, delivery time. So sadly, temporarily, I'm not shipping to any, like I used to ship a lot to Australia and the UK but then a couple of packages just took forever to get there. And I'm just like, no, I can't right now, but soon, soon, there we go. So there we go. We're gonna just do this and try to get this horse done. The feet aren't like perfect, perfect, but that's okay. We're just gonna go in and out. This seems to be the easiest way to do it is to have a sketch and just, uh, just follow your sketch. Otherwise it just takes, you know, a lot of time to do. Oh, I didn't even bend this properly, I don't think. I'm gonna bend this one in a bit. You have to really observe and see what's going on here. So this one we gotta bend up, okay, up, and then that one over, okay, and then this one. So we're gonna bring this one here, bend it around. The feet might be a little warbly, but at this point, I can't really change it. So we're just gonna go with this and see. So go like that and then, yeah, they're a little, they're a little wonky, but I think we're just gonna go with this for now because otherwise it's gonna take us a while to do this. So let's just do that, bring that one up. Okay, and this reminds me, I think the Capricorn was a, was a, a ram or something. I think we did something like this for the Capricorn. So we're just gonna go in here, just keep following the shapes and bring the arm. Now this is what I haven't figured out, how to do the arms. So maybe I'm gonna skip over there, go over to this end and do the tail. So we're gonna go down here and across, okay? And then here, Gloria spoke uh, a little English this morning. Okay, awesome, you speak a little English, that's wonderful. So you could definitely practice your English here and if ever you have any questions in Spanish, uh, you can always email me at info at heatherboydwire.com or make a comment in Spanish and I will do my best to translate it and uh, reply to you in Spanish. So um, it's always good practice for me. So I definitely don't mind that extra step of hopping over to Google to translate comments. And even if they're not like perfectly translated, I usually get the gist of things. So there we go. So here, the horse, and then this one and around. Okay, and let's just do this one here and then up 
And then after this, we'll try a bracelet for Mustafa and see what we can do with that. So we've got this here to there, and then we have to up there, wiggle it around. It's nice to have it on a little piece of paper, and then you can just rotate the paper, which is good. So we're going to bring this one here. So this is the point where we say, what do we do? Do we make the arrow? Um, probably a good idea to make the arrow. I'm just going to make sure that these are, see these didn't end up being like the same exact position, but we might be able to adjust this in a way that we can get it somewhat positioned. This has to come down a little bit. Yeah, so they're not too bad. And what I can do here is make the, make the bow and arrow and then go back to that one. I think I'm gonna do storming there. Ooh, stay safe. I have a couple of Spanish translators on my cell phone. Good idea, nice, okay. So now let's get a contrasting wire. We can just go ahead, I guess, with the 20 gauge again. And I hadn't even thought of putting beads in these things. So maybe um, maybe for the bracelet, we can add some beads. That might be a good idea. And so now what we're going to do is try to make the bow and arrow. So let's put this guy at the side. And I'm gonna try to actually make it with one piece of wire to keep it simple. So let's bring this one, start in the middle, up here, down, and up a bit. Yeah, it should be good. Okay, so we've got that. And then I'm just going to actually keep this super simple. Okay, and get the needle nose pliers. Bend this back, so we've got that. And then this one too, we're gonna to take this one here and bend it. Okay, bend this one back as well. So we're taking needle nose pliers, position that and bend it back. So this is a very stylized way to do, my best friend is a sash, I give it her, okay, nice, awesome. And cross with Violet, hi Violet, first time here. Well, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for hopping on the live stream. I do them every Wednesday at around one o'clock Eastern time. And for the next few weeks, we're doing all the zodiac signs. So Mustafa added a list of the ones we've already done. And uh, this is, uh, if you scroll back in the comments, and then we're doing Sagittarius today. So now what I wanna do is from here, just bend it, I guess. I'll just gonna bend this straight up like that. So we'll bend that straight up like that. And then we're going to wind this one around here. So for that, we're gonna get our round pliers. So we'll just take our round pliers, get these out of the way, and I usually help it first with the round pliers so it doesn't get distorted. And we're gonna take this one and just give it a little tug. So this is the starting point for our bow. Ended up getting a little distorted, but that's fine. So we're now we're gonna pull this one down here and then we wanna form the arrow here. So now we can just decide where we wanna put it. So maybe about here. Gonna remove that for now. And I think I'll just do my regular kind of arrow shape. So just take this, bend it on a sharp angle. Okay, you could curve it if you want. It doesn't really matter. Whatever, it's so small, there's not too much detail you can do with it. And then we're gonna bend this back, okay, up, and then bend this down again, just to make a very simple arrow. Okay, there, and now we're going to bend this back. So it's, it's a very basic arrow. You can do the arrow any way you want that way. And now we're going to clip it here, do a little clip, and just push it in so it stays in place. The other thing I have is some flat, uh, some wire that I was thinking to try some flat wire, but we're gonna see if we have what we have time for. So here is the bow and arrow. So now if we bring this back, uh, what kind of wire are you working with? So this is the artistic copper wire, this one here. I'm using 20, they're both 20 gauge, tarnish resistant silver. I use that kind of wire most for most of my samples and stuff. 
and um, it's just really nice to work with. It's very, very easy to work with. So now what we want to do is hold this in the right position, figure out this is going to have to be like go past, okay, we could probably do it this way. If we just put them in here, okay, we're going to put them here and make sure it's positioned right and then bring this one down around here and it looks like this is going to be a good position so his arm is just going to go here and then we want to wind it around a few times so let's just wind it around we can always maybe give his arm a little bit of shape after but for now we want to bend it this way so let's me just bend it around this way and we're just going to wind it through a few times. So let's just wind it through a few times. I meant her sign of Sagittarius. Nice, nice. So there we go. We're going to go around here. And then this one. And keep wiggling it. And then one more. So we're going to bring that one in here. Keep wiggling it. And let's get the flat pliers. We want to make sure it's held in place just below the arrow, I guess, like down there, and you can pinch it in a little bit so it will stay. So there we go. So we're gonna pinch it in a little bit, bring that one down, right down, and then out. So there, do you think aluminum wire would work? Sure, you could definitely try aluminum wire. I actually mostly work with aluminum wire for my, for my wire work that I sell on Etsy, but for the work that I do on YouTube, um, I like to do different designs for YouTube, uh, and so I use the copper wire. So there we go. So we're gonna go around here, and I'm gonna go out. I'm just gonna give the arm a little bit of shape, try to make it look somewhat muscular, okay? And then this one here, we're going to, yeah, you could really use any wire you want for this, whatever, whatever you guys have at hand. And there we go, so now, He's holding, whoops, he's holding the, um, the arrow and then we have to do the other arm and I'm wondering if I am going to need, I think I'm just going to clip this wire here because this is going to get in the way. So I'm going to clip this silver wire and uh, okay, Isabel, I got that after I read it the second time <laughs> and I, I just kind of, I scan comic comments so I think I knew what you were talking about and I didn't question anything so there we go so now what we want to do is this arm will go up towards to show the start forming the face so let's just get this in place and if this is going to be around here oh but see this got a little distorted maybe he's he's gonna have a really long arm but that's all right so this one, we're just gonna bend it up to get it out of the way somewhat. And then this one, we have to form the arm that's holding the arrow. So if we do, I'm thinking maybe it has to be a little longer because it looks like I kind of distorted that arm, but that's okay. We're just gonna take this, bend it in this way. Okay, bend that in that way and kind of give it a little bit of shape bend it up a little bit to form the arm. Maybe it's gonna be too far apart now, but we're gonna see. Which one do you prefer to work with? Uh, it really depends. I like them both for different reasons. Uh, the copper is nice and smooth. It makes nice smooth curves, whereas the aluminum that I have, it does tend to like make more sharp bends. And, um, uh, but I like the copper because it's stronger. Aluminum is more fragile and uh, it's okay for very decorative things, but not so much for things that uh, need to have more strength. So they definitely both have their advantages and disadvantages. It's just a matter of, you know, personal, personable, personal preference, I guess. So I'm going to bring this one in a little bit. But for this type of work that I do on YouTube, I really would, you know, I prefer the, I prefer the, um, the artistic wire. It just has a really nice look to it. So there we go. So we're going to take this one and see, I'm, you know what, I'm having problems here. I didn't, this is way, this arm is, it's way too long. That's the problem. This is not going to work because this arm, you know, this arm is way too long. So let's try to fix that even if we have to put a different wire on there 
Yeah, this is way too long. So let us, you know what I could do is I might have to clip it. Yeah, I might have to clip it and do a different, add a separate wire there because this is, um, I made the arm way too long and so that distorts the rest of the piece. So let's just bring this one back and we're gonna bring it all the way back. Sorry about that guys, that was definitely an error and uh, the proportions are not gonna work if I do it that way. So let's just bring this one back here, okay? And I'm gonna, well, I might be able to fix it. It also might get totally broken. So we're gonna see. So we're gonna take this and we have to bring it back. Yeah, that was way, way too, that arm was way too long. So let's just bring this here. And what we have to do now is just bend it up here. Oh yeah, it's totally different now. Oopsies. So now we're going to add this one in. Bend that one around. I don't know if I can recuperate this wire. Let me try because I'd rather not have to add another wire to it. Are you going to put some beads on this piece? I don't know if I'll put beads on this piece or not, but the next one I do, I'm going to definitely add some beads. We're going to do a bracelet after and I'll add some beads to it. But yeah, I mean, beads are always optional. If you guys want to add beads to any of these designs, uh, that would be really nice. Yeah, it's always pretty with beads. So let's just, this is going to be a little bit kinky and weird, which that didn't sound too good, but the wire is getting a little bit kinked. So we're going to uh, just try to recuperate it. If it doesn't work, I'll add another wire. But right now I'm just trying to flatten it out and see how we see how we go with it. So yeah, it's very, very damaged now that I've uh, now that I've um, had to bend it back and forth. So let's try this. And let's put this one back. So bring this over here, around here, and get this in place. So this should be better. So now we want to take this, wind it around a few times. If it breaks, I'll add another wire. When are you going to go live? I go live every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. So it will be next Wednesday for sure. And um, sometimes I'm a couple minutes late. But I, it's usually, you know, pretty on time. So there we go. So now there's the hand. This one, it is like a little bit like pinked up. But as long as it doesn't break, I'm going to leave this. Because otherwise it's going to be hard to add another piece. So we're going to do that. And then now we want to bend it up where the head is going to be. So I'm just going to hold this. And Joan, I really love those these lives. Yay! Sorry, I won't be here Saturday going camping. Ooh, fun. That's awesome. Long weekend. Labor Day weekend. That's fantastic. I haven't been camping in years. That sounds like fun. So now what we're going to do is we have to attach that one here. So let's do that. So we're going to take this and bring it in. Yeah, so this should be a little easier to do because now we're going to adjust this so the chest area is at a good distance. So now we're going to have to put it out a little, maybe about there. So if we put it there and I'm just going to like mark where the bend should be. Take the, those round, yeah, those are my round pliers. So take the round pliers, give it a little bend and put this one in here. So we're going to put this one in here and we're just going to wind. Maybe I should do it below and above. Let's do that. So I'm going to actually lift that out, put this below the arrow stick it in there oh no that's not right because i have to go back that way okay backtrack again take it out and put it above the arrow okay and then we're going to bring it around this way so take this bring it in there we go and then i'm gonna also bend it under the arrow so that should be good so we're going to bend that under the arrow bend it right down and perfect so we have it over the arrow and under the arrow and then now we're going to bring it back okay just back that way and see what we can do for that so maybe what i'll do for that is i'm just going to take this bend it down 
kind of go around like the shape of the elbow again, bring it back around here. Okay, bring it back around here, make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. And then his head seems to be just at the intersection of the hand. So we're just gonna go with that, get the pliers in there, bring it up. So this is what we have so far, it looks pretty good. And then now we just have to do the head position. So let's see how that's going to look. Um, okay, so we're gonna do that. Hopefully the wire is not gonna break because I did bend it a lot. And we're gonna bring us here and then up that way. Perfect. Um, I'm trying to make him a bit of a sharp chin, but if I give it too sharp chin, it's going to break. So we're gonna go like that and up here. And then we're just gonna have to stop it at the top and put a bead. Oh, I'm so worried this is gonna break. So you know what, I'm gonna do this side instead. And it goes back like this and then across. So let's see if that's in a good position for the head. That should be pretty good there. Some of the Sagittarius have like long hair and stuff, which I guess you could do like long hair on on the on the guy as well. I'm not sure if I want to do the hair or not. I don't think it's super necessary. You could do hair if you want. And then let's just see where we want to bend this. And then I'll just bend this up at a right angle. Okay, so if I bend that up at a right angle. Okay, do you need to hammer it down? Yes, to make it flat, you have to hammer it down. And I do have the hammer, so I could show you guys how to do that. So I'm gonna just try to sharpen this one up a little bit. Let's just see how it goes. I just find it a little round. Okay, and then we're gonna put this one here. Bend this a little bit more. Please don't break. Okay, and then we're going to just bend it around. So if we could just bend that around. Yeah, I think that's good. We're gonna clip it. And then at the top, you can also do a, be a bead as well. So let me see if I have any beads I can put at the top. It's kind of funky. It's uh, very interesting. It's a cool design. I think there's a lot you can do with it. I just wanna see if I have, I mean, there's a lot of different stone choices. I was actually asking um, Karen about that on the in the Facebook group because she posted some wrapped stones with zodiacs. Um, actually, I wanted to try to make one today too, uh, but she did like little zodiac charms hanging down, and I asked her how she decides on her stones, and she said, "Well, there are a lot of sites online that say what you know what stone goes with what thing," and. Um, yeah, so that's definitely a way you can do it. I'll just put the topaz type stone there because that's my birthstone as far as I know. So now we're going to just do a little, looks pretty cool. Thank you. So let's do our little look at the top with the little bale making pliers. And then you could do it, you know, this way or that way, depending if you want to put a jump ring or not. So if we want to just do a little bale here, just take the bale making pliers and then just wind it around a couple of times and you can like wind it back around here if you want it a little more solid and uh, yeah I mean you can put hair on this guy if you want or not whoops those are my cutters and we'll just give it a little clip you can add black bugle beads to mimic hair Ooh, that would be cool yeah that would be really cool you could definitely add uh, beads for the hair uh, you can put a separate color wire for the hair, but this is the basic shape and it's pretty good. I think the design wise, it's pretty good. And I think there's a lot that you guys can do with it. So it, the design seems to work. It seems really solid. Um, yeah, so that's that one guys, that's pretty good. Let me see if I could do a little something with the flat wire just to show you. Uh, so that's that one. So we, so far we have a Neo the Lion, ooh, okay. Ah, got it, so so now here's the, here's the uh, bow and arrow, here's the Sagittarius ring, here's the Sagittarius guy. Now for the, for the flat wire, you need a thicker wire. So this is the 
um, 16 gauge wire. You could use 18 as well. Actually, you could totally use 18. I'm gonna try two different ways. Like say we wanted to do something. I'm not even sure how we were gonna do, how we're gonna do this, but we can try. Let's just try something different because that's why we're here, right? So if we cut a okay, just this one, like a length here. Okay, and then we wanted one this way to be like the cross thing on the for the Sagittarius. We're gonna take this and this one here, and then we do have to get to Mustafa's. Uh, bracelet otherwise he's gonna be up all night and that's not a good thing so now we're gonna take this one bend it on an angle and that would be maybe that's not big enough let's try another one okay so it's not quite long enough so let's just take this and bend this one on an angle we'll make it a little longer than that just for fun okay so we've got that and then Leos are awesome, cool, nice. Uh, so now we're going to cut this. Yeah, the Leo was a fun live stream because I did the lion. It looked, it turned out quite well, the lion head. So there we go, like that. So let's see if this is going to work flattening it. Might or might not. I actually usually flatten my wire with a rolling mill because I find it makes a better even um thing like it flattens it more evenly so let's just take this close your ears guys because this is a little loud don't bang your finger we'll do again in the middle try to flip it Oh, is that flipped? Wait, come on. We have to flip over there. So yeah, you see it's like 16 gauge is pretty thick and it's still it's a little bit hard to flatten. So close your ears. That's a little better. Yeah, I really like my rolling mill better. It's much easier to get a, a better flattened like piece, but okay, close your ears again. Okay, one more. I'm not sure how I'm gonna put these together. Okay, close your ears. One more. Okay, there we go, guys. So that is how you flatten your wire violet. So here it, here, Heather, is it expensive to purchase the materials? Uh, no, we're in Montreal and I usually just buy things on Amazon because I have Amazon Prime. So yeah, it's really not expensive for us to um, purchase stuff here. And I have a lot of suppliers in Montreal too. So here we've got this. Anyways, I just did this. I have no idea how I'm going to put these together. If I could solder these, I could totally put them together with solder. So then the other option, if you want to flatten, we can try this too. Let's just try this just to show you guys like what you would have to do to flatten wire. Let's get 18 gauge. Yeah, I don't even know how I'm going to attach those. So I might just leave those for now like that, but I am going to get my uh, 20, 18 gauge gold wire, if I could find it. Where in the world did I put my 18 gauge gold wire? Here, I think this is it. So, uh, there we go. Okay, so let's get some 18 gauge gold wire. I'm gonna try something with that. Uh, this, I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not. I need a rolling mill. Rolling mills are amazing. Yeah, not all, not all um, pasta makers will work for that. You need one with a lot of, uh, um, how do you say a lot of levels like seven levels of flattening type of thing and the wire can't be too thick or it's not going to work I, I i use the pasta maker to flatten aluminum wire but i wouldn't use it necessarily for other wires so let's remove these and um let's just try to make the shape uh the same shape but in a way with one piece of wire so we can flatten it so the rolling mill i have joan i bought 
oh, 25 years ago in Montreal. So unfortunately, I don't think that particular one is available. There's a lot of them on Amazon. So you can definitely check uh, Amazon. I put some in the Amazon affiliate link, but I'm sadly, I haven't tried them. So I can't guarantee that they're good, but um, you can have a look at the ones that I put uh, on in the Amazon shop. And there's, um, what was I gonna say? Uh, they're much more affordable than when I bought mine. When I bought mine, it was over a thousand dollars, but now you can get them for, um, much less like $300 or something. So I would definitely, I definitely, to me, it's a great investment because I make and sell bookmarks and in the, I paid for the machine in less than a year after I bought it. So uh, if you're selling stuff, it's probably a good investment for you to buy a good equipment like that. So now we're going to do this. Uh, have you ever used UV resin? I have not used UV resin, but that's a great idea for that, to put it in resin. Um, Mustafa is the resin king. Uh, he knows all about resin, so if you have any questions about resin, uh, ask Mustafa. Uh, and isn't that a great idea, Mustafa, to put these in resin? Maybe I should send you those too, and you can put them in resin for me. But uh, yeah, that's a wonderful idea. Yeah, I like that. Great idea to how to put pieces together that you know you can't twist together. So yeah, I have to try resin. Um, I'm gonna just buy some. I'm just I'm just gonna go for it because I have some lacquer, but it's not the same thing. So see, I just did that with one piece, and then now we have to do this bottom part, which is the cross that goes across it. But again, we can't cross the wires because if you cross the wires. They're gonna break so that's why that's the challenge is to do this in a way that you don't cross over wires otherwise they're gonna break so let's just try to do it this way and see how this is gonna work gotta try it yeah try it mustafa and let me know try the try this exactly like this with the sagittarius in a, a resin Maybe you can make a bracelet like that for your friend. She might like that. Sounds really cool. Oh, and then you have to give credit to Violet for the idea because that was amazing. Great idea. So now we're going to just cut this, uh, pinch that in a little bit and then bring this one down. And then that would be the arrow. You could maybe make a ring out of this. Wouldn't that be interesting? Let's try this. Okay, so time for some noise. There we go. So let's get this. Close your ears and let's see what we're going to do with that. I put a guitar string snippets in UV resin. Ooh, I like that idea. Putting guitar strings in resin. Now that's another amazing idea. Okay, guys, I really have to buy some resin now. So let's do this. flatten might have been better with the uh, 16 flatten the whole thing I'm very sorry for the noise hope your neighbors don't complain there we go and flip it over again too much anyways I might have done that too much but so this is with the 18 gauge wire and see it compared to the 16 it makes quite a difference so Amber I, I'm late but I finally made a live awesome yeah and um, normally I'd be finished by now Amber but I started a little bit late and I'm having fun with these designs so let's just keep going guys uh, Mustafa might not sleep tonight, but uh, that's okay. Why not? You can sleep more tomorrow. So let's take this and bring this one around to make the ring. I'm going to bring it all the way around. I might have made it a little bit big now. So we're going to bring this one all the way around, all the way around. And then you can bring it up to here, I guess. But you know what? I don't want to, I was going to wrap it in there, but I don't want it to... Uh, ruin the design of the arrow so probably what you could do is just bring this around a couple of times bring it to a smaller size I have to watch the replay yeah no worries it's fine 
Um, Violet, I use Light Curve UV Resin. Nice, from Michaels. Okay, so I have to remember that. Light Curve UV Resin from Michaels. I am going to maybe go to Michaels today and get some because I am going to write that down. So, Light Curve UV Resin. I also have to start, I'm doing a challenge with my business guru, Serena Miller, uh, called, uh, what is it called? Show up and shine. And I have to do some TikTok videos uh, today. So maybe I will do a TikTok video from Michael's. So here's the, here's this one. This ended up being a little too far apart because also when you hammer it, it gets, uh, uh, it gets spread a little bit. But that's the idea. I will love it. I can't wait. Like who's sleeping? <laughs> yeah, I usually sleep at 2.30. So. so there's that. So that's pretty cool. So that's how you do the flat wire. And then this is like this uh, 16 gauge, which is thicker, which maybe I'll save and put it in resin because that was a great idea. So let's try to do a bracelet. So Mustafa, what's your idea for the bracelet? Uh, should I just do the bow and arrow? Is that what you were thinking? Or tell me what you're thinking for the bracelet because I could do the bracelet with the, um, I could use a 16 gauge wire for a bracelet. Um, I could add some beads too for the bracelet. Let's get our paper and get some ideas. I usually more or less know what I'm doing on the live streams, but this is an idea to do a bracelet. So, I mean, you could do, I don't want to make it too complicated because otherwise it's going to be uh make sure you have clear okay good good to know good to know and you were saying about fire too so i don't i don't know maybe we could do some fire things i'm just gonna play with this for now so that's fire things are cool um maybe do like a bracelet with fire or something Ooh, i'm just playing right now guys and if you want it to look like the Sagittarius, like this is the sort of a thing like that and like that. So maybe you could have that with fire or something. Mm, I don't know. Do some fire here. You could do some beads. Let me know, Mustafa, what you're thinking. Oh yeah, fire. So Karen, hi from down under. Nice, that's fun. What time is it in um, Australia or are you in New Zealand? I have a friend from Australia that just sent me a little video of him with his little baby. It's so cute. Dangle some arrows at the bottom. Okay, so that's, that's an idea. So like do the, do you like the fire, Mustafa? Let me know if you like the fire. This is, I've never made fire like this, but it's kind of cool. Because you can do like kind of fire things. Do like, and keep that maybe simple. And then you can dangle, you could dangle like the little arrows. I don't want it to be too cumbersome, but you could dangle, I don't know how many arrows you, you would dangle. I guess if they had another sign too, you could do another sign. Or you could dangle beads too, as well. Maybe just one arrow and then a bunch of beads. Or what's her initial? What's your friend's initial? I could also put in a, a you like the fire? I think the fire is cool. 4.26 a.m., what are you doing up at 4.26 a.m.? That's ridiculously early. That's after I go to bed and before I wake up in the morning. That's really early. So now, um, Mustafa, what's, uh, what's the first letter of her name? Because I could do her initial just for fun. Um, what else is Sagittarius? What else does Sagittarius um, represent? And unless I just did the bow and arrow instead of that, there's also that. I could do, what was the other bow and arrow? The other bow and, yeah, the bow and arrow was just like the, the shape, but I don't think you'd need both. I, I think you don't wouldn't need both. You could just do like that type of thing. So C, G, so, cause we could do that like a C and is that a lowercase G, uh, Mustafa? Like how, what do you think? Like, is it like that? Or is that a uppercase G? Lowercase is actually easier. Maybe, maybe I could do a lowercase one. I haven't been to bed yet. Oh, you're worse than me. Oh my goodness, I thought three o'clock was late. 
That's funny. Well, thank you for hopping on. I'm, I'm honored that you would hop on in the middle of the night. So, which to me is a middle of the night. Uh, Mustafa, do you have a YouTube channel? I think Mustafa has a YouTube channel. Uh, Mustafa, you're welcome to post your a link to your YouTube channel if, if, uh, if uh, YouTube will let you. Because, um, yeah, so let's go for this, guys. Why not? This is where we go off the rails and try lots of different things because why not, right? So I'm going to just cut a big piece of the uh, 16 gauge wire and I'm going to cut it. And then Mustafa, of course, you're welcome to distort this design, do anything with it you want. That's not a problem at all. I'm planning on starting one. Okay, you don't have one yet because Almond has one, uh, but you didn't have, wasn't sure if you had one already or not. Um, so yeah, definitely start a YouTube channel. Mustafa, I will be your first subscriber. So don't tell anyone until you tell me because I want to be your first subscriber. So now we're going to bring this one up and try to do, this actually maybe looks like it's a little thick for the, I'm thinking this is a little thick for the uh, fire. Let's try 18 gauge. I don't want this to get too thick. Let me try the 18 gauge again. So, and we can always double up the band of the of the bracelet. So I'm going to cut this red pendant Sagittarius spirit red a red pendant Sagittarius spirit animal. That's interesting. I did not know. I thought Sagittarius's spirit animals were bunnies because that's my absolutely absolute favorite animal in the world is a bunny, and it always has been. Uh, I've always been obsessed with bunnies and had them growing up and we had one when Mimi was little and I just think bunnies are the best and we live in a neighborhood with tons of bunnies so go figure. So now let's just try to do some fire see how we can do the fire. Zodiacs also have corresponding gemstones other than the well that's what I've heard and I've been trying to get a clear picture on what the gemstones for uh, Sagittarius is and this is the list that I have that um, Peggy sent me so it says because uh, Topaz is, is my birthstone for the month but it says the Sagittarius stone is turquoise blue topaz barrel blue zir zircon ruby lapis lazuli and citrine so I'm trying to find a good source to you know give more specific ideas about what are the actual gemstones because I'm actually not clear which on what they are so Amber if you have a good website or something that explains some of the um, some of the gemstones for the for the zodiacs that would be amazing you could let me know uh, you could DM me or something because that would I would really like to know what the um, what the proper ones are if there are proper ones so now oh what am I doing here so now wait I have to this is not what I want to do. I want to go the opposite way, I think. So yeah, so this, because we have to make loops. That's the thing. So we're going to go this way. We're going to make a loop and bring that one up. And then this one too. We're going to bring this one out and then make another loop. That's what I'm trying to do. So we're going to go this way. I have loads of sites saved from my research. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Send me some information. So that would be amazing because... Um, I'm never 100% clear on what's uh, what are good sites or not because it's hard to know like uh, which ones are more reliable or accurate or what have you. So now let's just keep going with the fire to see what this might or might not look like fire, but it's certainly going to be fun. So now let us get this and keep bending it back and forth. Okay, and just try to make something that looks somewhat like fire. And it might or might not. So yeah, it's kind of nice if we can get these to go back and forth a little bit. And then I want them at different heights. I'm just gonna forget the looping pliers and use my round nose pliers. I think they're gonna be easier. I'm gonna remove this sample just so you guys can focus on what I'm doing here. Bring this one around, uh, one that aren't trying to sell you something. Yes, yes, exactly. Good, good, good uh, guideline. So now we're gonna bring this one up and over here. 
This is really interesting. See, I would have never thought to do fire like this if Mustafa hadn't suggested that the zodiac is a, the Sagittarius is a fire sign. So that's super cool. And we're gonna bring this one down here and then do another one. Maybe I'll do five flames. I don't know if we have to do that many. We'll see. So we're gonna bring this one down here and then up here and that and that. Yeah, because I want I want quite a bit of fire, but let's just see how we're gonna do here. So bring that one back. Heather, how long have you worked with wire? Okay, so uh, Violet, I've been making wire for 30 years. I started making wire jewelry in 1989. I moved to Montreal from Toronto. I was a graphic artist and I moved to Montreal to become a starving artist. I started selling stuff on the street. It wasn't even jewelry. It was like handmade buttons and random stuff. And, um, and I met my now husband, Marc-Andre, and he was selling little wire bicycles on the streets of Montreal. And he handed me a piece of wire and I made something funky for him and he was super impressed and we fell in love and we uh, ended up uh, going out together, moving in together, having a child together, and uh, we're still making wire together 30 years later. So uh, he still makes the wire bikes. So we sell on Etsy and he sells us little wire bicycles and we transform them into wedding cake toppers, which is really fun. So yeah, it's quite the interesting story how I got started in wire. I also learned French because he's French and I'm English. So I learned French at the same time. So that was cool. I can make myself one of these also. The fire Leo, yes, yes, exactly. The fire is interesting. I think this is really cool. I think there's a lot we can do with this. So say we just do that much fire. You could do more, you could keep going with it if you want, but let's just keep it somewhat simple. And okay, we want enough for uh, the CG, the thing and a couple of beads, that should be good. So let's do that. Love story, yeah, it's a beautiful love story. And we, um, anytime I sell wedding cake toppers on, Etsy, I always send them a little blurb and a little copy of the story. I'll show you guys. I'll just grab it. It's in my cupboard. And, oh, there's the phone, but I think we're just going to let that leave a message. And, um, yeah, so when we sell our cake toppers, I send this uh, with, with, the, uh, with the topper. These are pictures of wedding cakes with our wedding cake toppers on them that people have sent me pictures. And then I put the little story on the back. So it's super fun. And that's that's uh, that's what I do for a living. <laughs> so now let's just do our bracelet. Uh, this we're gonna bring one around here. Okay, around. There. And there, there. And hopefully this is, a, I have, I do actually have a bracelet mandrel. Let me see if I can find the bracelet mandrel. Uh, I have burned myself many times. Oh, yes. Yeah. Careful with that. So now I'm just going to see if I have my bracelet mandrel. And if not, I'll just do it by eye. Oh, I do have it. So this was another thing that Beadalon sent me. Uh, so it's a good thing to have to size the bracelets. Otherwise, you can just use, you know, pill bottles and stuff like that. So... We can just take that and hi to Mimi. Oh, I will say hi to Mimi. She's out this afternoon uh, meeting with her camera club. She has a camera club in Montreal. Uh, the, Mimi is my daughter and she's a photographer. Actually, recently she did a really amazing photo shoot of a guy's car and um, even her camera club people were really super impressed. So, uh, so maybe she's gonna do more of those for sure, but mostly she does photos of dolls which are really cool. So now if we're going to just do that, we can just hold it that way. You can double it up if you want, like you can make a double band if you want this to be stronger. Otherwise the 18 ga gauge isn't too bad. So we're going to, if we could just bring that up to make a loop and then the loop will be there and then just bring this to make a little hook. So we're just going to do it that way. I'm going to keep it sim simple. And Joseph, 
I use my rolling pins as my bracelet mandrel? That's a great idea. Good idea. Yeah, that's a good size. I usually use um, pill bottles because uh, I have different sizes of pill bottles. But uh, yeah, the, I mean, anything works. Anything round works. So we're going to just do a loop there. And I cut this wire way too long because I was thinking I might bring it back and finish it there. So actually, if you do want it to be stronger, you can do that. You can just take this, bring it back, okay? You can bring it back this way and either twist it around to make it stronger or twisting might be good too. Otherwise, you can just bring it back, put it back on here and bring that one around here. Depends on what you want to do with it like because you could bring it back and double it up and then it becomes a little bit stronger. So whatever you think you want to do, I'm just trying to eyeball it. It's going to be hard to attach it in a way that it doesn't slip. So what if we just try to backtrack it with the spiral? And if you had a lot of wire, you could definitely do like a tighter coil type of thing. Uh, work it with the house, sorry, you said work hard in it with the rubber mallet. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, for, for sure you can um, harden it with a rubber mallet. I have a rawhide mallet, but I guess the rubber mallet works in the same way. So now if I want to bring this one to, to strengthen it a little bit, I can just like, I can bring that that way and just wind it around if I want. This is optional. Like there's a lot you can do with the with the wire like this makes it like a little less of a clean line and a little more like kind of detailed but that's totally up to you what you want to do so it's kind of cool i'm going to just keep it so we're going to bring that one around here hold that in place close that up and we'll give it a little clip and then on this side we just wanted like a little a little loop thing so we're just gonna make a little loop. Actually, this wire might, I might not have cut this big enough, but we're just gonna do a little hook, bring that one back, bring that one around. And sometimes when I do these little hooks, I even like bend it back a little bit, just like that. And then we're gonna go like that. You like the twisted look, awesome. Oh, thank you, yeah. So I think, I think it's gonna be good. I think, um, I might run out of wire here, but what I'll do is I'll space it out a little more because I'm I'm gonna run out of wire for that. So I'll just do my little coils a little more spaced out. Otherwise, I, I definitely will run out of wire. So we're just gonna bring that one here and around, round and round. There we go. Perfect and perfect. And then we'll just do the little uh, the little danglies and we'll be done. So there's that one. And wow, we're doing a long live stream today, guys. We're getting a lot done. So now there's your bracelet. Make sure that's sideways. So that would just like go in like that. Ended up being maybe a little small, but I have a tiny wrist. So it's um, that would fit me, but uh, you can do it any size you want. So yeah, so there's the basic shape. Just like that is super cool. Just... <laughs> It's a fire bracelet. I love it. So now let's do our little danglies and we'll choose some beads. So Mustafa, you choose, tell me what color beads that you um, think I should do for that. And then I'll do a little dangling arrow. Let's do it all in gold. And then the C and the G. So, oh, these are my favorite beads. So there's, I have all kinds of nice faceted beads in there that might be nice. And then these are the miracle beads and the cat's eye beads. So let's move those over to the side and just do, we'll start with the little um, zodiac uh, arrow and then we're gonna add some other things. Uh, tumble some, okay, have a tumble, have a tumbler. Oh, a tumble to work hard and I know it's another option. Uh, do you mean to tumble the wire in a tumbler? I've never heard of that, but that sounds interesting. It sounds like it would scratch up the wire, but maybe I'm not thinking what you're uh, mentioning, what you're describing. So now what we want to do is we're just going to make our little arrow. So we're going to go down here and then we're going to bend this one 
up, not make it too big. Uh, okay, so it's a barrel. How interesting. Hmm. I think I, I remember my husband saying those things take up a lot of take a lot of electricity when you tumble stones. Uh, because I think you have to leave them in there like for a long time, but I guess with the wire you wouldn't have to leave it as long. So now we've got this and then I'm going to bend this one to the back. And then for the loop in this one, which is something I used to do when I made these male symbol earrings, is I do the loop at the top of that and then it's going to hang a little more evenly. So you can't put soft stones, okay. Uh, fine grit and it leaves the wire smooth. Whoo, how interesting. See, you learn something new every day. So now we're gonna just bring this one around and do our little loop and it's discreet and it's above the center so it should hopefully sit a little off center. So now, like that, and then, oh, that's right, because Joan, you said you, your sister makes jewelry too and you guys are having a competition right now, right? Tell us about your jewelry competition with your sister. That sounds super fun. Very exciting. A little healthy competition is always a good thing. So now let's go ahead and do the little bar across for the Sagittarius. So we're gonna take this, whoop, I'm, I'm gonna use a needle nose for this just cause they're smaller. So we're gonna take this, bend it that way, bend this across to the front, bend this to the back, And then we're gonna bend it down, down that way. And then we want to finish it in a way that it's going to not be um, a sharp end. So we're gonna actually bend it again to the front. So take this, this would make a great earring, little tiny uh, Zodiac earrings. Maybe I'll make some earrings like this after the live stream. I don't wanna waste your time but it would be the exact same design and you could stick them on earring hooks. Wouldn't those be super cute? Very easy to do. So turquoise is my favorite. Yay, I'll do an HB. Oh, I don't wanna do my HB. I'll do, I'll do your friend's initials uh, and then you'll just have to replicate it yourself. So I, it's too bad I, did, I already sent your package because I, I could have thrown it in the package for you, but um, I already sent your package. So there we go. So there is the little piece and we're gonna hang that one down and then we're gonna do, let's do the C and the G first. I need another sip of water. There we go. So let's get more 20 gauge wire. We'll do the C and the G. So no worries. <laughs> I'm sure you'll make something beautiful, Mustafa. And it, it's more special coming from you. For your friends so but at least you'll see her initials on on tv so that's cool if you put it you could put it on the big screen tv and she'll be like oh i'm on tv awesome so let's do a g how are we going to hang the g so i'm going to take this and wow how do we just do an initial g boy i'm getting a little bit of a fried brain here so if we go like that like that so, and the, but you want to hang the G, so we're going to have to hang it like that, and then like that. I guess we'll, there we go. I have to figure it, because I did a uh, uppercase G before. I kind of like the idea of a lowercase, though. So let's just take this one. I'm going to get my other uh, round pliers, these ones. We're going to do the circle. Okay. We don't want it too big either. Um... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What if we do this? Is that too small? That's a little small. I'm gonna go a bigger, slightly bigger size. So let's take it down to this one. There, bring that one around. And now, um, my brain is not the working. So I want this here and this here, okay, around here. That way, um, yeah, why is my brain not working? So we're gonna bring that one up and then bring that one to the front and it's a little big actually. So uh, let me just make it smaller after all. I think it's gonna be too big. So let's do this around here. 
Okay. Around here, up, and then bend that to the front. Okay, like that. Okay, that's the first part of the G. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could just dangle it from the... Okay, let me try this again. <laughs> This is where I, this is where I start to get extremely confused. So let's try this one more time. So we're gonna bring this, bring that one around, mm -hmm. around here. No, this way we want to bring that to the back. So you show the fire bracelet again. Sure, yeah. Here's the fire bracelet. There we go. And now we're just going to do the initials to hang off it. So let's just take this and bring this one up, bring that one down, whoop, down. Come on, you. Stop misbehaving, wire. So we're going to take that, bring that one over. Okay. And yes not behaving very well. So we're going to do the G. This one, we could do a little loop at the top, I guess. Uh, what's this one doing? Hmm. Yeah, I'm having a little trouble here, but I'm just trying to figure out what this is doing. I think rather than bring it around again, I might just do a loop at the top. Let's see if that's going to work around here. I'm going to get my small pliers. I think I'm making this more difficult than it has to be. That's the problem. I'm really making it more difficult than it has to be. I really shouldn't. I really should not be making this so difficult because I'm thinking like to have a little loop to hang it up would be good. But um, let me just try this again. This is where this is where I start to get like really tired and struggle. So I'm just gonna make this easier. So let's get this and try again. One more time. One more time's a charm. So take this, bring this around. Bring it around like that. This is gonna be easier, I think. Bring it down and bring this one like this. Uh, there we go. Let's just do it this way. I think it's going to be easier. So we're going to take this and I am going to just bend this one back and cut it. There we go. I have to say good night. Oh, thank you so much for hopping on. That's That was great that you were able to, to hop on. And then you can always watch the replay and uh, I'll post a picture of this, uh, these pieces after the live stream. And then uh, if you make anything, uh, join the Discord group and share pictures of your work or the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. That would be awesome. So now this is going to be the G. It's going to just hang there. I think I'm just gonna maybe hang it with a jump ring. I think it might be better. So let's just do that. I'm gonna just bend this one to the back to keep it easy. And then I'm going to just attach it with a jump ring. Yeah, I made that much more difficult than it had to be. Yeah, bye Violet. Thanks so much for hopping on. So let's just do that. Let's just, it looks actually really good after all that work. <sighs> okay, so let's make some jump rings super quick. Has, does anybody, has anybody watched the show Parks and Recreation? There's a funny, funny, funny scene in that show where they, um, this guy is like, this guy, he's like really lazy and he's always asking his girlfriend to, to do stuff for him and, and that. And then there's this one scene where she's going to the kitchen and he's like, oh, if you're going to the kitchen, can you just make me some pancakes real quick? And Mimi and I laugh about that scene like all the time. It's just ridiculous. I don't know why we find it so funny, but it's very, very, very funny. Great show. Parks and Recreation. There we go. So now let's keep this one. And we're almost in the home stretch, guys. So now what we can do is add a couple of these. There's going to be that one, that one, and then the C. So let's do the C. And then we're going to put some beads and we'll be done. Okay, so let's do the letter C. 
move these over. See, let's just make it super easy. This does not have to be complicated. So let's do the C. We're gonna, it's almost like a moon, I think. So we're gonna take that and take this one, and maybe make it a little bigger around here. And then we're gonna bring it back to the front. Yeah, it's gonna look a little bit like the moon because I have a moon uh, tutorial. Actually, a lot of people find that tutorial really difficult. So I don't know what it is about the design or the tutorial that's really tricky. And I tried to make a simpler tutorial and it's, I don't know, I can't seem to simplify it. So let me know in the comments if you've made that moon ring. And, uh, and then if you found the tutorial difficult because it is, maybe it's a little complicated Oh, a shout out to, Ch uh, is her name Cherish? Am I pronouncing it right? Because in English it would sound like Cherish. So hello to Cherish or Cherish. Just let me know how to pronounce it because I'm not sure. I don't want to butcher her name, but that's so nice. Awesome. Fellow Sagittarian. Fantastic. So let's take this and bring this one back for the C. And then we're just going to bend it around and that will be just about done. I'm just going to help this out so it doesn't get really distorted around. And Jurga's here. Hello, hello. Nice to see you. Perfect. So we're just going to clip this one and that'll be the C. And then I'm going to put a few beads and we will be done. Yes, the English one. Cherish, lovely, beautiful. Okay, well, hello, Cherish, and welcome. That's fantastic. And now what I'm going to do is, actually, this one I'll put directly on the bracelet. So I'm just going to take this one, give it a little clip, and take my round pliers, bring it back and around and around, and we're gonna just hook this on one of these. So we, let's put the C and the G beside each other. So we're gonna just close that one up. Uh, maybe get the needle nose pliers so I can actually see it there. Close it up. And then we're going to put, oh no, it has to go first, right? It was C, J, uh, C, G, so I'm gonna move it over one. Okay, we'll move that one over one, open up. Okay, open up that one, bring it over one more, and then close it up here. Okay, so we'll do that one. And then we're going to put the G. So let's just take the jump ring, open it up, put the G, uh, C, G. So we're gonna put the G there, and there we go. And then we're gonna take the Zodiac for the Sagittarius. Perfect. Put it in the loop. Skip a skip a loop, put it in there, and then we're gonna put some beads. So let's go for the turquoise beads. And blue seems to be a Sagittarius color anyway. So I have these beautiful faceted turquoise beads. So they almost look like Schwarzky crystals. They're not. And I will get my gold head pins because it always looks a little cleaner with the head pins, but I just have to find my gold findings. Ha, ah, there we go. So I have all my gold findings in a bag. I will find the, the uh, head pins, and then we're gonna be done. So let me find the head pins. Uh, yep, yeah, here they are. Perfect. I bought these specifically for the tutorials because I don't really do a lot with gold wire. So let's get three of those. And we'll just put these in here. One, two, and three. And then I'm going to cut it to about half an inch, I guess. So let's just cut it a generous half an inch. And then we're just going to take this one, bring it back and around, hang it on 
the bracelet. This is going to be so cool. Thank you, Mustafa, for suggesting a bracelet and the fire. So there's one, and then we're going to do another one. So we'll take that one about half an inch and take this one back and around. Perfect. And then stick that one in there. Close it up. And then one more. So, Connie, I thought I'd missed. Oh, we're just finishing up, Connie. Uh, I started just shortly after one. I had a bit of a glitch. I had to restart. And um, this is the longest we've ever gone. It's been almost two hours. So we're just finishing up. Nice to see you. And I will show you guys everything that we made on the live stream. So now uh, we're just going to put this one on. And then that'll be it for the bracelet. I just have to close up this hoop here. There we go. Close it up. Excellent. So there, hopefully I'll be able to show you guys. This is, did I put them on backwards? No, I think I didn't. So here is the bracelet. I probably should have spaced these out a little bit more or maybe skipped a, I could have done more flames and skipped a flame to dangle each one because they kind of overlap. I usually make my own eye pins and head pins, but okay, nice. Yeah, I usually, yeah, exactly, me too. Sometimes I make them with the little loop at the bottom, but these are nice because they're really discreet. So there we go. So we have the fire. Well, let me bring this down a bit. The fire, uh, the beads. This is the zodiac for Sagittarius. There's a C, there's a G, and there's a uh, the other beads here like that. So there's the bracelet. We can close it up. And then what else did we make? Let's see. We also made this flattened ring this got a little bit bent out of shape but it's not too bad so that's the Sagittarius ring we made these little components that um, we're possibly going to put in resin uh, not today but another day so this because uh, to stick them together you'd either have to uh, solder them or put them in resin and then this was the other ring we did with the Sagittarius uh, just a simple one and then this one, which is the bow and arrow, which turned out really cute. And then the archer. So that was really fun too. And you can add hair to that one too, if you like. So, oh, thank you so much, Joan. So I'm gonna flip the screen and say goodbye. Uh, this went really long today. It was super fun. Let's just do, let's flip the screen. Oh, good. So guys, thank you so much for hopping on uh, the live stream. That was a lot of fun. I'll do another Zodiac next week. Be sure to tune in tomorrow night, Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern time. It's the very first episode of Live Wires for the Win. So that's really exciting. I'm going to be premiering it tomorrow night and we can chat in the chat and uh, join the Facebook group for Wire, uh, or not group, the Facebook event page for Live Wires for the Win. And, um, and yes, so you guys can participate in the challenges too. It's going to be super awesome. Thank you, Mustafa, so much for uh, moderating the chat today for uh, your great ideas. Uh, do I have time to make something for, oh, I missed that. What, what was that for, Joan? Do I have time to make something for, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be super fun. Yeah, and I'll put more details in the in the facebook it's like in a facebook event page so you guys just like in the 10 day challenges you guys can join and you can win great prizes as well so uh, that's awesome for tomorrow um oh okay so do i have to make something for tomorrow no no you don't have to make something but if you do want to participate in the challenge live wires for the win uh, after each episode airs you can make something based on the weekly themes and if you make all eight challenges, because it's an eight week uh, series, if you make all eight, I'll have a, a, a draw for winners of prizes, beetle on prizes as well. So that's gonna be super fun. And if you have any questions, just hop on the uh, premiere tomorrow. Uh, we can chat in the chat box and everybody have a great night. And thanks always for hopping uh, on the live streams. There was so much fun.